Hey y'all, Pops Cooper, LittleCooper.com. Look what Pops got. Check it out, y'all. I've got a Coop Simple review for you today of the Fianu P27 soundbar and subwoofer. The Fianu company reached out to us and asked that we do a review on their product. We said, sure, send us a product and we'll review it. So they sent us one, and that's what we're going to look at today. The sound you hear is coming from the, from the soundbar. Sounds pretty good. I know it's hard to tell over video, but it sounds pretty good. Anyways, we're not being paid by Fiatu. The review and the opinions are our own. So, y'all come on in here, let's open this thing up and install it and review it. Y'all keep watching. All right, y'all, before we open this thing up, let's take a look at the box, see what the box says. I don't know how well you guys can see, the print is really not that great there. But it says on this side, well, on both sides actually, it has a five and a quarter inch drive subwoofer, 120 watts RMS for the sound bar. It says 2.1 CH. I don't know if that's supposed to be 2.1 channels, what that's supposed to be. Sound bar, feel the sound, HDMI, USB, and stereo inputs. Model number is a P27. Technology, Bluetooth, auxiliary input, uh, HDMI TV, ARC, optical, and USB. Audio output power is 30 watts times two plus 60 watts, which gives you 120 watts RMS. So I'm guessing the 30 watts are the speakers in the sound bar itself, and then the 60 watt is probably the bass, the subwoofer, would be my guess. 45 hertz to 20 kilohertz is a frequency range, response range. The signal to noise ratio is 72 dB. Power is 120 volts or 240 volts, 50 hertz or 60 hertz. So depending on where you're at, that's what you get. The Bluetooth version is version 5.0 with a range up to 10 meters. The dimensions, the sound bar is 860 millimeters wide by 76 millimeters high by 78 millimeters deep. And the subwoofer is 115 millimeters wide, 420 millimeters high and 250 millimeters deep. The Bluetooth frequency is 2402 megahertz and 2480 megahertz. This is the Finu or Fianu Technology LLC in El Monte, California. This is made in China and of course the website is finu.com. So that's pretty much it on the outside of this thing. Let's go ahead and open it up and pull everything out of it. Okay y'all, so here's what you get in the box. You get the sound bar, seems to be pretty nice quality. You get the subwoofer, you get a mounting template, a setup guide, owner's manual, mounting screws, some gloves for whatever reason, I don't know. You get the 3.5 millimeter stereo to RCA cable, you get an optical cable, an HDMI ARC cable, you get a remote control, but no batteries, you have to get your own. And then they have these little, I don't know what those are supposed to be, I didn't see them listed anywhere, some kind of feed or cushions for something, I don't know. Then you get the free gift for filling out their survey, you get a little thank you card, and this is your registration, your warranty registration, you get a 30 day and a 90 day registration, or a 30 day warranty without registration, and then 90 days when you do register it. And this box is what all these accessories came in, was this box here. So that's what you get in the box. Now we're gonna go set this thing up and see if we can use it. Y'all keep watching. Let's take a look at this thing. I got it installed. But looking at the front, it's pretty sleek. Materials seem to be nice when you look at the materials. It's comparable, I would say, at least on the outside, to anything you find on the market today, as far as Samsung and Vizio, Sony, any of that, the materials are pretty nice, actually. Now, I didn't show the installation of this thing because there's a boatload of ways to install it. For my situation, I do not have an HDMI ARC capability on this TV, so I had to use the optical. And I'll show you that here in a minute. We're gonna turn this thing around and look at the input connections on the back of this thing. Okay, before we turn this thing around and look at the back side of it, we're going to take a look at the remote control. So here's the remote control, pretty straightforward. Got your power, your mute, your pair for your Bluetooth, your input, your volume up and down, skip forward back, pause, play. Then you got your music, news, movie, and 3D settings. Those are basic presets for your treble and bass. And then you have a treble and bass that you can operate with this thing. So that's the remote control. It doesn't come with batteries. You have to put your own AAA batteries in there. So that's remote control. Let's go ahead and power this thing on. Now you'll see right there in the middle, it has an AU, that means auxiliary input. And we'll look at that on the back side in a little bit when we turn this thing around, but that's where you can put in a three and a half millimeter plug input. So you could do a three and a half millimeter from say your phone into this or 
I don't know, a CD player or whatever you wanted into this. And then you saw that it came with a an RCA stereo to 3.5 millimeter stereo cable that you can use to connect to the back side of your TV if you have that capability on your TV. So that's the AU. So you'll hit the input, it'll take you to the next input, and that says BT. And you heard that beeping, that means it's paired. Currently I have it paired with my, my computer, and we could play something off my computer. And then you can control the volume. Volume ranges from 0 to 32. I don't know how they picked 0 to 32, but that's what they did. So you can do that. You can increase the treble. It goes to 5 up and 5 down. Same way with bass. It goes to 5 up and then 5 down. They also have presets, which they don't really show other than showing that E3. So that's music, E1. And I guess that's equalizer setting maybe, what that means. That's news, it says it's E3. That's movie setting, it says it's E2. And then 3D says 3D. Maybe 3D makes a difference if you're doing surround sound. I don't know, but it doesn't really make a difference with the music. So that's Bluetooth right there. So now we can take a look at the other inputs. So next is the optical input. This is the input I'm using for my TV. Now, in order to do that, I have to control the sound bar with this remote control and then use my TV remote control to control the TV. So that's kind of a pain. Now, if you have the HDMI arc, which is this setting, then HDMI arc, you can control the sound bar using your TV's remote. But because my TV doesn't have that capability, I can't do that. And so I can't use the HD setting on here because I'm not connected to the HD. So I'm using the optical. So let's go back to optical and let's see if we can pull something on here off the TV. Now I'm gonna play a little bit here using the optical input from the TV. You're not really going to be able to tell too much because of the fact that I'm recording from that into the microphone on the camera. But it gives you a little bit anyways. Sounds pretty good, I think. There's mute. Mute it. You might still hear just a smidge, but that's coming from the TV speakers, not from the soundbar. There's a the soundbar back on. So there you go. That's the optical inputs. Next input is the HDMI input and like I said earlier I'm not going to be able to do that because I don't have HDMI arc capability on this TV. Next is the auxiliary input. Talked about that. And then back to Bluetooth. And then back to optical. So that's the inputs there other than the flash input and I'll show you that right now. Okay so on the right side of the unit over here is where the controls are. There's a power and an up and down volume and there's also a USB port on that side. So if you take a, a USB with music on it, MP3s, and I got about I don't know four or five MP3s on here, you plug it in and it will start automatically. So it plugs in. I don't know if you saw I changed it to U5 in the middle or actually it's supposed to be a US in the middle for USB and it starts automatically and then you can use your remote control to scroll through the songs. Forward and backward. That's the USB. Now let me show you the side of this thing and then the back where all the inputs go. And the output to the subwoofer. I'll keep watching. Okay, now here's the end with the controls on it that I was just showing you. It's got the label, the FINU label, and then it's got the volume buttons up and down, and then in the center is the power. Now the power button is also a select button, so when you push it, it will select your inputs. And of course, you're not seeing that over there. 
an hour listen to our music back in. And then of course this is also where you plug in your music off your flash drive and it automatically changes. So now you hear your flash music. Now I don't know if, if this will, that's your volume up and down. Let's see if this will select your songs. No, that only selects the input. It does not change your song selection. But it will bring you back to the USB. So you have to use the remote control for your sound or your song selection with your USB. All right, let's turn this thing around and look at the back of it. Okay, so here's the back of our unit. And of course you got your power cord that goes in here. I have the optical cable in here, and this is the output to the subwoofer here. Also, up here you have the auxiliary input, and down here you have the HDMI TV ARC cable input. So that's basically the back of this thing. Now if we zoom out here, you can see here and over there, the two mounting brackets where you can mount this thing on the wall if you want to. I just made me a quick little shelving unit to put it on because I didn't want to put holes in the wall. All right, let's turn this thing back around. Y'all keep watching, I'm going to tell you what I think about it, and we'll wrap this thing up. Okay, y'all, there you have it. The Fianu P27 soundbar with subwoofer. I got to say, pleasantly surprised. It's a pretty good deal. It was about 130 bucks at the time of filming this, and they had like 550 reviews, four and a half stars. It's a pretty good deal. Nice, sleek looking. The quality seems to be, seems to be good. It's nice, it's got four inputs, four different types of inputs. And it's got four different settings, sound settings, plus you can adjust the treble and bass separately. It's not super high end, but for the price point, I think it's a pretty good deal. Easy to operate. It was easy to pair with my phone and my computer, both, through the Bluetooth. The only thing I really didn't like, and of course it ain't the fault of the soundbar, was that I didn't have an HDMI arc on my TV, so I couldn't test it in that in that way. It works great in this room I have it in. The room I have it in is about 11 by 14, and it's great. I don't know how it would be in a bigger room. Maybe good, maybe bad, I don't know. But for this size room, and the way I got this system set up right now, it works really well. And I think I'm going to enjoy it. I really do. So, if you're interested, I'll put Amazon links in the description. If you're not, no harm, no foul, no big deal. Hopefully this video helped you out if you're looking for reviews on the Fiano P27. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, well, you give me a thumbs down. I understand not every video is for every viewer. Either way, though, leave some comments. Good comments, bad comments, not foul comments. We're trying to keep it family friendly over here. Constructive criticisms, maybe experiences that you've had with the Fianu P27 that you could share with other people before they purchase. So other people watching this review, trying to find out whether they want to purchase or not, leave those comments down below so they can check them out. Check out our social media, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, at Living Cooper. Also check out our blog over at livingcooper.com. And lastly, and probably most importantly, is please subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you're notified next time we upload a video. Check out our other videos. We got all kinds of reviews, how-tos, travels. Check those out, and we'll see you guys next time.